I've had some pretty wild, pretty dangerous, and pretty stupid ideas in my life. But none of those were as dumb as thinking I have what it takes to become a Marine. <laughs> Last week, I was doing tons of important business stuff when I got an email from the actual U.S. Marine Corps. They invited me to join in a training camp alongside real Marines at an active military base in Virginia. That sounds horrible. I'm in. My truck. Literally on the way to the airport right now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, because if it's anything like the movies, I'm sure it's going to be rough. But there's got to be a reason people sign up, and maybe if I can actually make it through, It'll be an enlightening experience. Or maybe it's just gonna be awful. Either way, it's time to get a good night's rest before... Dear God, it's 3 a.m. Time to go. I made it through security to discover this place was nothing like I expected. Inside the gates was a never-ending 86 square miles, basically making this place its own city. But eventually, I arrived at the barracks to meet the Marines. Oh, How's man. Doing? You're Tanner? Yes. Hey, nice to meet you, man. These are Marine security guards that are trained through nine rigorous weeks of strict schedule training, so you're gonna get a small taste to understand what it is like to be not only a United States Marine, but what it takes to become a Marine security guard. Okay. Are you excited? I am excited. I don't know why I just lied to these guys. I'm not excited. If anything, I'm scared. And you know what? I'm out. <laughs> JK, <laughs> let's do this. The first step of becoming a Marine security guard is to look like one. So my mentor took me through the living quarters. It smells like a hospital in here. To the room I would be staying in for the next few days. It smells like hospital in here too. <laughs> It could have been the sleep deprivation, but getting suited up to their standards took me almost half an hour. It was far more tedious than I expected. These rooms are not as bad as I thought. I imagined bunk beds in the middle of a room and, you know, a drill sergeant screaming at me immediately. This is quite nice. I hope that I get a taste of a genuine marine experience. I don't want a cakewalk necessarily because I just like to do things that make me uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to get after it, see what it's all about. Can you see? Not really. <laughs> With only five minutes until our initiation ceremony, my mentor gave me a crash course in their basic etiquette to keep me from standing out more than I already do. Good morning, Master Sergeant. Tanner reporting in as ordered. Good morning, Master Sergeant. May I feel your bicep? <laughs> but things were now getting real, not only for me, but for the two other creators that were invited as well. Alex, Tanner, Jordan, welcome to American Embassy Quantico. You are here for a three-day taste in what it takes Marines from across the Corps nine weeks to accomplish. This training will test you, both mentally and physically, and you will be expected to overcome your doubt, your fear, and to succeed. Now, are you ready? I got off the bus to find myself at a shooting range for the first time in my life. Growing up in the Midwest, I did get to shoot a few guns, but that never translated into actually knowing what I was doing. So it's a good thing we had a safety lesson before I was handed a full auto assault rifle. Back to back. You got it. I would grab here, so these serrations right here. Clearly, I still had a lot to learn, but with the Marines by my side and a bit of practice, I started to get the hang of it, which meant I now had the green light to actually start shooting. All right, shooters, go ahead and upload. Make sure they're on full auto. Right. Well, I shot way more bullets than hit the target, but I still got to shoot a fully automatic gun, so I'm, I'm happy. Unfortunately, the fun was about to come to an end, and taking its place was our first official drill. We're about to run up six flights of stairs with our gear and then shoot from the top. You may think running up six stories isn't that bad, but in true Marine style, we had to do it over and over and over again until we had everything perfected. All of this while under a black flag heat warning. Now I don't know what that means, but yeah, it was hot. But getting to shoot an AR from all the way up here definitely made it worth it. I'm getting less worse at this. Right? 
Yeah, he's doing, he's doing pretty good. I figured he was just trying to make me feel better, but we inspected the target, and turns out, I'm actually not that bad. Now, only one training exercise stands between us and the completion of the first day. Hand-to-hand -hand defensive tactics. Anyone want to try? <laughs> I'm the pinata today. No! 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 <laughs> I figured smacking someone with a bat would be pretty straightforward, but you can clearly see the difference between my sloppy form and that of a real marine. And this ended up being the case for all the tactics. At first they appeared very simple, and painful, but actually required a very specific technique to become effective. You're coming with me, pal. Down, 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 down. Right, cool. Even handcuffing someone was harder than I expected. Sir, spread your feet apart, arms to the sky. What about your handcuffs? Where are you going to put I'm putting... <laughs> nope. <laughs> but eventually, I got the hang of it and passed the first day, leaving with a new respect for their broad skill set and ability to break my arm at any moment. God. Oh, that was insane. But I learned a lot today. I'm sure I will think this is a valuable experience when it's over. I'm literally gonna lay down and not leave that bed until tomorrow, which also starts at four in the morning. After waking up around when I'd normally go to sleep, I got my first experience of a Marine's morning routine. I had to put on my uniform, make my bed, and clean the room before I could leave. Basically the routine my mom wishes I had as a kid. My mentor even had to cut my belt just because it was a few inches too long. But once I was ready and the sun was rising, it was time for the next challenges. Up first was something called the collapsed structure, a claustrophobic worst nightmare. Inside this very hot shipping container was a tight wooden maze we would have to crawl through in the dark, alone. So you guys have all done the collapsed structure? Yeah. yeah. Was it this one or was it like? Same, same one. Exactly. Same, same, one. same one. You guys are about the same, yeah. We're about the same? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if he could yeah. fit through, surely. I, I breezed through it. I had a feeling I got a good shot at this one. <laughs> Jordan on the other hand is screwed. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are you? Six seven. Six eight. Six seven, six eight. You're screwed, buddy. I know it. You're screwed. <laughs> All right, good morning. We're gonna go over the safety considerations for the collapse structure trainer. Everything here today is gonna make you a little uncomfortable. For the collapse structure, it's all about keeping your composure. If you freak out, you've already lost the battle. I was pretty confident I could complete the course faster than the other creators, but became unsure when told I had to go first. Any advice? I think you need to find your warrior spirit, just like yesterday. It's gonna be hard to find in the dark. <laughs> Am I good to go? Let's do it, brother. All right, can't see anything. Okay, I try not to smack my head. Oh, right as I smack. <laughs> oh, this is such a small space. Dude, there's no way Jordan's getting through this. There's there's no way. I want that fastest time. Oh, the head again. If this building was on fire, I would be dead. Okay, I gotta be getting close now. I can see, yeah, 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 I can see a little light. Let's go. You're there. Bam, bam, bam. And you're out. Let's go. Good job. Heck yeah. What's my time? <laughs> the helmet can barely fit through half of that. I feel like I, I, I'm gonna have the fastest though. Up next was Alex, hoping her strategic abilities as a pro chess player would lead her to the fastest time. All right, we're going in. It's dark. I'm not even afraid. I think I'm just competitive. I want to do better than the two other creators. Okay, it's getting tighter. This is not fun. Ow. Oh, ow. Ow. Wait, did I break it? No, you shouldn't be climbing out the top. Sorry. Oh God, it's so hot. Okay, you know what? the competition, I just want to get out of this. Okay. 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 Oh. I'm out. I am sweating. And lastly, the giant basketball player stepped up to the plate. All right. Oh, oh no, it is pitch black. What did I get myself into? Ah. Damn, I thought my head was big before this. Hold on now. Put my feet up here. Come on up. Okay. And then we up. Oh, I see some light. I see some light. Come on now. Come on now. Ah! Oh my God. It's it so hot in there. Well, hopefully none of them are like as tight as that one was. That was that was a squeeze. I can't. So you guys can use They might be tighter. <laughs> That's right. The section we completed was actually just the warm-up. We didn't know it at the time, but the final course was multiple floors high, four times the length, and much tighter. Not to mention, it had been baking in the sun all day. The element of fun from the first one was quickly replaced with fight or flight. Look, you tell me this is almost over. Bro, we gotta get out soon. For real. Oh my lord, I'm bruised. Please tell me we done. Oh, see why it's Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, I see the light. Please don't be a trap. Oh. Oh. 
The Marines came out looking like nothing had even happened, while we looked like we had fought for our lives. Oh, it was way worse than I expected. Why do I see an AC unit? What is this? <laughs> Why is it off? I swear to God. Right when you got to that one point though, where you're like, dude, I gotta get out of here soon. Yeah, like, you kept crawling, you kept pushing, oh, like, dude. that's what it's I'm all about. The collapse structure was truly one of the hardest things I've ever done. But seeing Jordan come out with the fastest time yet again, began to show me that this training might be more of a mental battle than a physical one. A realization I hoped would help me as I faced what most Marines consider to be the toughest part of their training, the gas trainer. What happens if I breathe in the gas? You'll gonna, start like, choking, like, yeah. okay. it's like breathing in uh, hot sauce, like, <laughs> so you just don't want to do that yet. Yeah. Just know mentally it's not going to kill you. Alright, so here we are again. We just finished the collapse structure trainer. We built the confidence in you. It is now time to build the confidence in our equipment. Are you ready? To complete this drill, we would be required to exchange filters, let the gas into our masks, and clear it out in order to breathe again. And as if that wasn't bad enough, we would be doing it in another boiling hot container with two pairs of pants, an extra coat, a second pair of boots, and rubber gloves. When it's almost 100 degrees outside. This is horrible. This might be worse than that freaking tunnel. I was definitely nervous after hearing the Marines describe it, but spending another second in the snowsuit had to be worse than getting it over with. So we headed for the gas. As soon as I stepped inside, I instantly felt my exposed skin start to burn. I somehow kept my cool during the first half of the drills, but near the end, I started to slip. That's time, you guys. Close your eyes. Close your breath. Break yourself. Do something else. Get out! Get out! Get out! Good right. oh. job, Tanner. Ooh. Oh, my face is on fire. My neck is burning. <coughs> Breathing pepper is a good analogy. I'm glad it's over. I'll be more happy when it actually feels over, but at least I did it. We're done. Except we weren't. When a discussion with the other creators turned into peer pressure. Oh no, it's on Tanner. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We all made a pact to see what the gas was like without any protective gear, in spite of our very clear warning against it. But a pact is a pact, so we went ahead anyways. Oh God, this is so stupid. <laughs> hey, don't touch your face. That's f***ing awful. Oh. Stay right here. Uh, yo. Get up, let your chest breathe. Let your chest breathe. The back of my eyeballs are on fire. Focus on blinking. Blink blinking. Do you, does it you mean? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Keep blinking. Just keep strobing. No, I can't. I literally can't. Put your tears, hey, hey, look at me. Look at you. Your tears are going to help. Breathe. Breathe. Get some fresh you breath. You gotta go back in. Get some it's a fresh breath. <laughs> it took about 15 minutes of the Marines attempting to calm me down, but the feeling of needles in my eyes eventually began to fade. There, there can't be something worse than that. If there is, I don't think I can make it through it. How about we go back in? No. 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 This is why every single year, Marines have to get used to the masks, get comfortable with them, and then kind of recognize some of the symptoms. We started together. Everybody went in together. We all came out together, too. Well done. Well done. After what was one of the most intense days of my life, I was decontaminated as best as possible and then headed back to the barracks for a nice cold shower. But suddenly, the water started feeling hot. That's when I found out that water actually reactivates the gas crystals, causing it to burn more. I guess the Marines are just used to this because they carried on with their evening as normal. But it was safe to say that I wouldn't be leaving my bed for the rest of the evening. It's our 4 a.m. wake up call, and I didn't even sleep last night. My throat and my chest after the gas kept me up. I feel horrible. I think I'm screwed for today. Marines, bring it in! We're gonna do a little bit of motivating Marine Corps PT, okay? So this is gonna be a competition style workout. So each influencer will have a, a set of Marines as their team, and you guys are gonna be set up into three lanes, okay? Once you guys reach the last Marine there standing at the cone, That'll be your end mark. First team to finish gets bragging rights for the day. Right. Although I felt like a walking corpse, I couldn't let my team down and still had to give it my all. Ah, there's so many rocks in the yard. My knees. Tanner, good work, brother. Thank good you. Good work. 
Let's go. Easy work. Easy no, work. Not easy work. Not easy work. Along with the bragging rights, the winners also won a victory lap of fireman carries. And of course, I got the six foot eight giant. Ugh, 210 never felt so light. <laughs> Once the adrenaline of PT had worn off, I hit a wall. The last three days of training for 15 hours had finally caught up with me. At this point, I just wished this was over and that I was back home pretending to work again. Nonetheless, there was still one thing standing between us and the total completion of the course. But this time, we weren't doing any ordinary training exercise. We were going to experience what marine security guards do in an emergency intruder situation. Something almost as intense as the bags under my eyes. And it wasn't until this moment that I realized any of these marines could be feeling just as bad as I do, and it wouldn't matter. They would have to continue with the mission all the same while staying calm and collected. Something I didn't manage in the collapsed structure and definitely didn't pull off during the gas, but could potentially make happen with with this last drill. Don't move, don't move! Show me your hand! Sergeant Del Rosa, detain. Don't go, down, down, down! Threat neutralized. <laughs> Wait, helicopter, where's he at? There. That's pretty cool. I spent the rest of the day teaching some of the Marines how to flip, <laughs> watching the new recruits get OC sprayed, on me, on me, on me! Ah! Breathe, breathe, ah! Which, by the way, is like 10 times worse than the gas we went through, and lastly, receiving some accolades for completing the training camp. Congratulations. Thank you. The following week, I had the chance to visit some of the Marine security guards abroad and see the importance of their mission firsthand. I got to do drills in a real foreign embassy with the folks who run towards the danger instead of away from it and who put others' lives before their own. They say not everyone is cut out for the Marines, and all things considered, I probably wouldn't make the cut. But I've still come to learn a lot about what I'm capable of enduring and have an entirely new respect for those who do serve. To them and to those who fill these crucial roles in the future, I say thank you. And if you don't subscribe after everything I've been through during this, well, you're coming with me, pal. Down, 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 down. down.